Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this makeup look using um, one of Juvia's Place new, newest palettes. This is um, the Nubian Glow palette. I've had it for a while. I had it since it came out um, and I'm finally getting around to posting a video with it. I think this is the second one that I'm doing using this particular palette, but I will, you know, you'll see all of that throughout the video. Um, it was really, really simple. I wanted to do something very kind of festive, kind of glittery, do a little red lip for the holidays, but still keep it, you know, nice and fun. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a while. Uh, actually, I haven't worn makeup in a while actually. So yeah, this was kind of fun to do but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I don't want this intro to be too long um, so if you guys are new here definitely consider subscribing if you love all things beauty natural hair skincare you know hauls all those types of things definitely consider subscribing to my channel and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload all my old subscribers i love y'all thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos and support me um turn your notifications on so you also do not miss an upload um just with you know everything changing with youtube i really don't know who is even getting the notifications when i upload a video so definitely turn those on to make sure you guys are alerted when i upload a video and yeah let's hop into this makeup look and yeah i will see you guys next time bye guys So, as you guys can tell by the intro, I am back with another video that I recorded back in December. Nonetheless, I'm back to show you guys this makeup look. This is actually the look from my Bantu Not Out video that I did um, a few months ago, that I, or I posted a few months ago. Let me rephrase that. Um, but I'm going in and priming my eyelids with some concealer. This is the um, Maybelline Rewind and I believe one of the MYX HD concealers. All the products that I use, I will be, they will be down in the description box. The funny thing is when I'm doing a lot of these videos that I've recorded months ago, I'm usually going off of my memory of what products that I used during the video because obviously it's been months, but I usually end up remembering for the most part. The first shade that I'm going into is the matte orange shade from the Nubian Glow palette. I really like this palette. It's so pretty. Um, it's just, it just has all like a lot of the nice warm, just orangey yellow colors that I like. Um, so I really like this palette a lot. Um, I like a lot of Juvia's Place palettes. No, this is not a sponsored video. Actually, none of my videos from Juvia's Place are sponsored, and I do pay for all of my own items, just so you know I am not on their PR list, and they do not send me free product. So, whatever I tell you about Juvia's Place is just my feelings and my own personal opinion, and, and nobody's paying me to do this, okay? So, for those who are asking, because there are a couple of Juvia's Place videos coming up after this, because a lot of stuff came out during the holidays, between the holidays and now, so I have a few videos that I recorded that are, you know, going to have Juvia's Place stuff in it. And a lot of my videos do feature a lot of their stuff, but it's not because they send me anything. I do pay for all my stuff with my own coins, okay? Next, I'm going in with kind of like this beige-y, um, like, cream eyeshadow thing that honestly wasn't really necessary. I could have just used a regular old primer but when I was doing this video I wasn't sure what kind of look I was going for so it was kind of like one of those things that turned into something else so you can honestly disregard this part and just kind of use like a concealer or like a light eyeshadow base something like that the color of the base doesn't really matter um, but what I originally was gonna do I ended up not doing so just give you guys a heads up that this step is kind of irrelevant Yeah, I was originally trying to do some little like glitter joint and see like I'm using my finger. It just wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. So I ended up changing this whole thing because I'm like, this don't look like nothing. Like it's not giving off what I wanted to give off. So we're going to change that up. Don't worry. See, I'm going in with the other shade. Now I'm going in with that first gold shade of the palette and I applied that instead of what I was originally applying, which I don't even know what it was. 
but this worked out so much better because it looks so pretty this yellow it's like a it's like a yellow gold I love it it's super pretty love 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 it and I'm just applying that with my finger and actually it was really good payoff when I use my finger I'm pretty sure it'll work well with a brush but I, since I had that kind of sticky base on there I just used my finger because it was just simple so I'm just going in and doing that and yeah okay now I applied my liquid liner off off um, off camera because you know that takes a minute um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna go in and prime my face I'm using the Too Faced primed and poreless um, primer and I'm just applying that really to my cheeks I love this stuff on my cheeks and like on my chin where my pores are a little bit more visible and I just kind of pat that in I love this primer for this reason I kind of like to use it underneath whatever I usually use two primers but usually I use this one first now I'm going in with the I believe this is the hangover primer by Too Faced yeah it's the hangover primer by Too Faced now I'm going to be applying all over my face which I love this primer as well it is definitely bomb definitely one of my favorites then I'm going to set all of that with a powder this is I believe the Juvia's Place powder in Gobi that I'm using to set all of that before I actually apply my actual foundation now I'm going to pretty much conceal underneath my makeup like I like doing this is the MYX HD concealer I believe it's in C7 and um, the age we want I'm going to use that to color correct above my upper lip I kind of only use this one because it was out and I didn't feel like reaching for my orange concealer and then to contour I'm going to use the NYX concealer in espresso which I love this is like one of my favorite tones for cream um, or liquid contours and no concealers yes you guys want to call it and I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend all of that out I believe I'm going in with my Fenty um, uh, soft matte foundation in the shade 420 I'm just going with that and applying all over my face I don't know how I remember all these products after it's so gone honestly I usually can tell by the look of the foundation what it is it's really funny that I remember this but I usually can tell by the tone of the foundation that I remember this like six months later but that's the foundation I went in with. It's the Fenty Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 420. This foundation, I really like it. I mean, I guess a lot of people like the new one. I haven't tried it, but I like this one. And I just, you know, I'm just more of like sticking to what I know. And I like it. Next, I'm going to go in with my pressed powder. I believe this is the Beauty Bakery one in Plantain. I'm just going to apply that right underneath my eyes that um to set that you know highlight 
in all the areas that I highlighted and I've like been liking using like smaller brushes underneath my eye I used to do this way back in the day when I first started doing YouTube before like the whole bacon thing came into place and larger powder brushes under the eye I used to do it back then um, and I actually been liking doing it now as well just because I don't really bake underneath my eyes anymore I feel like my eye area gets a little under eye area gets dry Next, I'm just going in with my liner just to line my waterline. that same orange shade that I applied on my transition area and I'm just gonna apply that underneath my lash line just to kind of bring the look together you guys know that I like doing this I do this all the time um, and I actually went back in with like kind of a, like a larger brush just to kind of blow it out I didn't want it to be like neat I wanted it to be just a little bit more you know visible underneath there so I went in like that I should apply that little primer underneath my eye but yeah. It's fine. It worked out. Still look nice. Next, I'm going to set my face. I'm going to be using my E Bond Luxury Press Powder. You guys know she's very like. This powder just works all the time. It's, it's just a banger. Like, <laughs> I know y'all get tired of me using the same products, but I think we moved past, you know, doing what's popular, haven't we? I think we have. And so I'm actually going in with the same eyeshadow that I used on my transition shade, and I used that as my blush. And then lastly, I went in with the that last shade in the palette on the bottom row. I used that one to apply in my inner tear duct. It actually gave off like greenish gold vibes, which I wasn't actually expecting it when I applied it. I was expecting something different, but it actually worked. So, you know, it was nice. It was a, a cute color. And then for my lips, I'm going to go in with the lip liner in wine, again from Juvia's Place, and I'm just going to apply that to my lips. This was the one of the ones that came out with, they came out with the Reds collection, which you guys know I had to get that. Um, so I pretty much got everything from the Reds, like not pretty much got everything from the Reds collection, I got everything from the Reds collection. So I'm just applying that to line my lips. And then I'm going in with one of their new shades that was, it was red velvet. Oh, this is like a pinky red. It was just really nice. It was actually brighter than I originally thought, but I loved it. It came out super pretty. And that is it for the look, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this very pretty look that I did for Christmas. But, you know, now you can use it for the summertime because I feel like it'll still work for the summertime, okay? I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.